This is Government Unfiltered. I'm Dan Williams. This podcast is a reading of the December 22, 2022 final report from the Select Committee to Investigate the January 6th Attack on the United States Capitol. Chapter 6. Be There, Will Be Wild. 6.3. The Oath Keepers. He called us all to the Capitol and wants us to make it wild. The Oath Keepers, founded in 2009 by Elmer Stewart Rhodes, is a far-right anti-government organization. The group targets former and current military and law enforcement for recruitment. Their name refers to the oath taken by public servants to support and defend the U.S. Constitution. The Oath Keepers claimed fealty to the U.S. Constitution is belied by their obsession with conspiracy theories about alleged evil-intentioned elites in the government. Rhodes has often spouted these conspiracy theories on InfoWars. Over the summer of 2020, the Oath Keepers organized armed groups, ostensibly to serve as volunteer, self-appointed security at protests around the country. The Oath Keepers used the protests to draw in new recruits. They also built muscle memory by coordinating for these events. For example, the Oath Keepers hired Michael Green, who later coordinated Oath Keepers' activities on January 5th and 6th to lead security operations in multiple cities around the country. In the early part of 2020, protests against COVID-related lockdowns served as additional growth and networking opportunities. Kelly Sorrell, a lawyer for the Oath Keepers, met the Oath Keepers at a lockdown protest in Austin, Texas in early 2020. Sorrell saw these COVID events as a coalescing moment for different far-right groups. The Stop the Steal movement created another opportunity for the Oath Keepers to grow their influence. Rhodes repeatedly amplified the stolen election conspiracy theory. On November 10, 2020, he posted a call to action on the Oath Keepers' website, alleging the election was stolen and exhorting his followers to refuse to ever recognize this as a legitimate election and refused to recognize Biden as a legitimate winner. Under a section entitled, What We the People Must Do, Rhodes quoted a patriot from Serbia who also loves America. The Serbian author described how his fellow countrymen fomented a political revolution. Parts of the statement presaged the attack on the U.S. Capitol. Millions gathered in our capital. There were no barricades strong enough to stop them, nor the police determined enough to stop them. Police and military aligned with the people after few hours of fistfight. We stormed the parliament and burned down fake state television. We won. The Oath Keepers were obsessed with the Insurrection Act, seeing it as a way for President Trump to cling to power. Rhodes believed that the president could empower militias like the Oath Keepers to enforce law and order after other Americans refused to accept President Trump's rule. Indeed, President Trump had been intensely interested in the Insurrection Act as a potential tool to quell the protests in summer 2020. Rhodes wished the act had been invoked then, but he did not give up on the fantasy. As mentioned above, Rhodes called for President Trump to invoke the Insurrection Act during his speech in Washington on December 12, 2020. That day... Rhodes also coordinated with Jericho March organizers to provide security. He coordinated with a paramilitary group known as First Amendment Praetorian, 1AP, to guard VIPs, including retired Lieutenant General Michael Flynn and Patrick Byrne. Rhodes indicated that the Oath Keepers would be working closely with them for the event. The Oath Keepers continued to call for President Trump to invoke the Insurrection Act throughout December 2020 arguing that the president needed to do so to stop the steal. This fantasy reflected a warped sense of reality. Rhodes testified that President Trump could have mobilized unorganized militia, including the Oath Keepers, to suppress an insurrection if he attempted to stay in power after losing the election. But the Oath Keepers themselves were the ones contemplating insurrection. On December 10, 2020, Rhodes messaged others, Either Trump gets off his ass and uses the Insurrection Act to defeat the Chai Com puppet coup, or we will have to rise up in insurrection, rebellion against the Chai Com puppet Biden, 
Take your pick. Rhodes was blunt in other messages to the Oath Keepers, writing, We need to push Tump to do his duty. If he doesn't, we will do ours. Declare independence. Defy. Resist. Defend. Conquer or die. This needs to be our attitude. Episodes of Government Unfiltered are created based on the value-for-value value model. I create the episodes, and you can decide what it's worth to you. If you prefer to listen through the full chapters rather than the individual chapters, supporters at patreon.com slash timberlanemedia get exclusive access once they're completed. Thank you to associate producer Jay Bernhard and all of the insiders who provide support there. You can also support the effort at governmentunfiltered.com by clicking the support button for a one-time donation. And you can click the contact button and ask for an address if you'd prefer to mail a check. Follow the show on Twitter at GovUnfiltered or on Facebook at facebook.com slash governmentunfiltered. Thank you for listening. <laughs>